Hey everyone. See all this? This is to keep the hot tub protected. And it just shut off because I had the time like that. I just got here like 20 minutes ago. So it just shut off. And in the last 20 minutes it only dropped 2 degrees. Yeah, we got this. So, because I want to try to keep this tub to last as long as I can until I can get a better hot tub but so far in the week of almost owning this I'm impressed I've had best way products before I love their products and this one is actually one of them that I really love but as you can tell we put up one piece of wood two pieces of wood there is foam insulation underneath it to keep it warm so it doesn't lose heat and then we've got one tarp and we've got two tarps it basically creates like a tent area for the hot tub the wood is to protect it so nothing hits the sides and it's basically protected on all the sides and then we got foam shoved around the sides but it's been a pretty good hot tub in almost a week of having it. The other one, in almost a week of having it, the other one was losing air, the water temperature wouldn't stay up, or anything like that. Ooh, I feel that wind. And I just got out of the tub. Anyways, the other one would lose heat, and... It would always shut off. This one I've got I've got the timer set, so that's why it's off now. But it had only shut off just a few minutes ago. It's only dropped three degrees in like almost a half hour. So that's not bad. Um, I noticed when I left it off a couple days ago, because I had the timer set and it was off for seven hours, it only dropped like seven degrees. So that's basically one degree an hour. It is in the 30s and we are under, according to what I read, a winter weather advisory until tomorrow morning. But it just says snow flurries, so it's not going to get extremely cold. But like I said, I am very, very impressed with this hot tub. And almost a week never let me down. It works great. I've, I've used it twice. And it works great. It maintains the 102 degree temperature I got it set at. But like I said, we've actually got it protected better than what we had the other one. This one's more protected better, so it'll probably last longer. And yeah, this is just a couple pieces of wood, foam insulation, a tarp. It's basically keeping it protected from the elements. Because it will not... It may get warm in here, but not real warm in the summer. And it will not, it, it's cold in here, but it may not get real cold. But it does keep it well insulated. But I am going to stop it right here. Before I do, I want to show the actual model. Ken. It is a Sola Spa Mad Raid. It's actually, I'm very impressed. Like I said, it's inflatable. And since I put air in it on Sunday, it has not lost air. It's holding air. It's, like I said, it's doing real great. This piece that's on the pump motor, this is for the chlorine tablets. It's the ChemConnect system. I've got chlorine powder in the garage that I actually treated the water on Sunday with um, <clears throat> but I did order chlorine tablets so I can use that chem connect when the chlorine tablets get here so like I said I'm very impressed with this hot tub so if anybody is interested in it you can find it on Amazon regular price is like almost a thousand I paid like 400 and I think it was like 405 I think I paid I know it was over 400 but it was not as much as what I paid for the other one. The other one I paid over 500 because this one was on sale. 
But again, like I said, I recommend this hot tub. Please like, please subscribe, <clears throat> and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.